Hello, everybody. My name is Nisin Lopez. I am a Cuban American artist based in Miami, Florida, and I also happen to be a targeted individual, meaning a victim of organized stalking. Now, when people go Google the terminology gang stalking, organized stalking, covert harassment, they don't really know what it is. So I decided to make a presentation in order to enlighten the public as far as this uh, controversial subject, the, you know, the, the subject of uh, organized stalking, a secret program of the U.S. government designed to destroy targeted individuals emotionally and psychologically. So what exactly is organized stalking? Well, one could say that gang stalking is bullying on steroids. Organized stalking or covert harassment is pretty much a form of political political repression, extrajudicial punishment, if you will. Gang stalking, as I already mentioned, is a secret program of the United States government designed to destroy the targeted individual emotionally and psychologically. This is done through dark neurolinguistic programming. We're talking here about state-sponsored psychological terrorism in the name of social engineering. Really ugly stuff. We're talking about non-therapeutic, non-consensual human experimentation. Really, really, really ugly stuff. So, who are the people behind uh, this phenomenon known as organized talking? Well, the gang stalking enterprise is an, uh, Masonic type of program. The unjust, systematic form of harassment is done by a group of people in an organized fashion, using unethical means to torment, preoccupy, agitate, intimidate, and terrorize the isolated victim 24-7, no matter where he goes. We're talking here about community-oriented policing. The targeted individual is exposed to a stressor outside the range of usual human experience. He is constantly bombarded with negative environmental stimuli until he breaks down after years of methodical abuse, unjust systematic methodical abuse. We're talking about years here. Targeted individuals fall mainly into four categories. We have, for example, judicial targets. There are extrajudicial targets. We have targets of opportunity. And in some cases, lucrative targets. Most victims of uh, this program, uh, Cointel Pro, end up homeless, in jail, or in psychiatric institutions, institutionalized. Some targeted individuals even commit suicide. Once a person is labeled as mentally unfit, his credibility is automatically gone. Keep in mind that a person that is diagnosed as a delusional paranoid schizophrenic cannot acquire a gun in America. Basically, you know, we know that by now that the United States government is trying to repeal the Second Amendment. Most of, the, of these mass shootings taking place in the U.S. are uh, false flags operations, pretty much. You know, they want to repeal the Second Amendment. We know this. So overall, gang stalking is an illegal, long-term, unconstitutional, very important, unconstitutional, this is not constitutional, is an illegal, long-term, unconstitutional program, program designed to neutralize free thinkers, you know, people like myself, that could be considered a threat to the new world order one way or another. You know, they basically target uh, people who are like, whistleblowers, you know, uh, people who are outspoken, people who have, you know, like uh, political beliefs or whatever, you know, people that are not necessarily a threat to anyone, but they just happen to be outspoken, you know, these are the kind of people that they target usually. So the degenerate folks behind the gang stalking syndicate, they define themselves as threat assessment team, I repeat threat assessment team. They basically, you know, say that, say to people, oh, you know, the, the, uh, the, the target is a bad guy, you know, he's a threat to society or whatever. 
That's how they get to recruit, you know, people to, that will harass the target 24-7 everywhere he goes, you know. It's a corrupt form of proactive policing, and it generates no forensic evidence. Very important. It's traceless. This gang stalking crime is traceless, pretty much. And who are the perps that harass the target individuals? Well, the perps, meaning the people that are recruited by federal law enforcement in order to harass the target, these people are called surveillance role players. They're also defined as surveillance team members. These people that are recruited by, by uh, the FBI, Homeland Security, and the police, they believe that they are patriots, that they are heroes serving some type of noble cause. You know, and they come from all types of social backgrounds. We're talking here about men, women, old, young, rich, poor, etc. These people are brainwashed into believing that the target is a really bad person, a terrorist, a racist, a communist, a murderer, a serial killer, a sex offender, a rapist, a child molester, you know, all kinds of ugly stuff. Basically, you know, they, uh, this is a uh, slandering, you know, they, they say all kinds of horrible things about the target you know, in order to make people people hate the target, so so that people hate the targeted individual, you know, uh, and that's how they get to recruit, uh, you know, perps, meaning surveillance role players. We're talking here about a gang of anti-freedom speech terrorists, you know, recruited by uh, federal law enforcement. We're talking here pretty much about a clandestine civil military operation, and also. Keep in mind that the targeted individual is also subjected to directed energy weapons. I know that for the most part, for the most part, the American public is not ready for this type of information. You know, the minute you say directed energy weapons or something like that, they say, oh no, that's science fiction. Oh, that's fantasy. This guy's crazy. He's delusional. He doesn't know what the hell he's saying. But the fact of the matter is, is that there is such thing as directed energy weapons. Uh, this type of technology, this type of secret technology, is based on DNA profiling, you know. Basically, the, the, the frequency of the target's DNA is used to fine-tune the technology. I know that sounds crazy, but that's how it is, you know. In our modern days, the feds, meaning federal law enforcement, they have access to a sophisticated wireless technology beyond electromagnetics and acoustic signals. This is known as transcranial stimulation. This technology is classified, of course. They don't want the public to know this. That's why, you know, when somebody like myself is trying to inform the public and I talk about this secret technology, you know, people say, oh, no, he's crazy. He doesn't know what he's saying, you know, all this stuff. This secret technology, for those of you who don't know, enables the, 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 the people behind gang stalking to insert thoughts, words, phrases, images, impulses, dream videos, etc., into the psyche of the targeted individual, especially if the highly traumatized victim is in an outer state, meaning under the influence of, of drugs or sleeping, for example. We're talking here about synthetic telepathy, pretty much, a system of neurocognitive warfare, trauma-based mind control, really horrible. Uh, all the experiences of the targeted individual are stored in a super quantum computer that predicts the targeted individual's behavior based on past choices. Basically, the computer literally resonates with the biofrequency of the targeted individual. What we have here is black magic. This is uh, black magic at the governmental level. Uh, a perfected breakdown tactic on the human will. <clears throat> so this, ladies and gentlemen, is what's going on here in America. Organized talking, a secret program of the U.S. government designed to destroy the lives of targeted individuals like myself. I, Nisin Lopez, I have been a targeted individual in Miami, Florida since early 2011 until the present. These people have destroyed my life, the, you know, the feds behind this secret program. This happened to me, well, it's a long story, 
Well, this happened to me because I had a problem with some influential people here in Miami, Florida. I'm talking about people who have a lot of political influence, people who have a lot of money that, you know, when they don't like you, all they have to do is make a phone call and say, yeah, you know, they call their, their friends in high places in federal law enforcement. Yeah, go ahead and destroy this guy's lives. You know, this guy had the nerve to say this to us and he published a book or he's trying to publish a book about this, this and that, so go ahead and, uh, and fuck him up, destroy his life. So basically, this is how gang stalking works, you know? And like I said, this thing has been going on in my life since early 2011 until now. My life has been completely turned upside down. You know, once you are targeted individuals, you have this, uh, uh, you know, a few choices, a few choices in front of you. Basically, you end up in a psychiatric institution, isolated, your credibility destroyed. Uh, you end up in jail, you know, surrounded by a bunch of animals. Uh, some targeted individuals uh, take their own lives. And some people tough it out, meaning some people, you know, resist, resist, and resist. And, and usually they die of, uh, of cancer a brain tumor or something so that's basically that's that's pretty much what's gonna happen to me I guess you know cuz once once you are in the program they don't let you go you know I guess I'm gonna m my end will be to die of cancer or something you know after after so many years of being harassed so much stress being accumulated you know so well I want to thank you all for your time I hope you found uh, this information uh, useful. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for your time.